Welcome back. Get ready to dive into the world of tech with MA Tech. Bringing you the latest updates, reviews, and insights in just a few seconds. Apple has officially announced the iPhone 16 series, which is generating a lot of buzz in the tech world. However, despite the excitement surrounding the announcement, the general public will have to wait a little longer before they can get their hands on these devices. The official release date is set for September 20th, marking the much-anticipated launch. This means consumers will need to hold off on making any purchases until the phones are available in stores or online. Currently, only a select group of individuals has access to the iPhone 16 series, and these are not everyday consumers. Instead, these devices are in the hands of very few people, most of whom are carefully selected insiders. The limited access heightens curiosity, as tech enthusiasts are eager to know what Apple's latest flagship phone has in store. One key group that has early access to the iPhone 16 is content creators. These influencers and tech reviewers have been given the chance to use and test the phone, but they are under strict embargoes. This means they are not allowed to share any reviews, opinions, or footage of the new device until Apple lifts the embargo. This restriction keeps the public in suspense, as these creators often provide early insights into new devices. The embargoes placed on content creators only add to the anticipation for the iPhone 16's release. While many are eagerly waiting for first impressions and detailed reviews, the silence from creators means that all eyes are on the official launch. Apple's strategy of controlling information until the release date ensures that the excitement continues to build up to the moment when the public finally gets to experience the new features firsthand. One of the key points to remember is that no one can officially test or verify the performance numbers Apple showcased during their iPhone 16 series announcement. While Apple highlighted the impressive capabilities of the iPhone 16, consumers and reviewers won't be able to confirm these claims until after the devices go on sale. This is typical with most tech releases, where the true performance can only be assessed once the product is in the hands of users. However, even though the phones aren't available for purchase yet, leaks still find their way into the public domain. A notable example comes from James Atkinson, a well-known leaker in the tech community. Atkinson reportedly got a glimpse of an early Geekbench test for the iPhone 16 Pro, giving us a sneak peek at some of the performance metrics. Geekbench tests are often used to measure a device's CPU performance, and any early information can help shape initial impressions of a new release. James Atkinson shared his findings on X, formerly known as Twitter, where he expressed disappointment in the multi-core results of the iPhone 16 Pro. According to him, the device didn't perform as well as expected in this particular benchmark. This has sparked conversations among tech enthusiasts and potential buyers, who now question whether the iPhone 16 Pro will live up to the high expectations set by Apple. While the leaked results are preliminary, they have already started to influence opinions in the tech community. Although the early Geekbench results shared by James Atkinson are a talking point, it's important to remember that real-world performance can differ from benchmarks. Multi-core performance is just one aspect of a phone's overall capability, and Apple's software optimization often plays a big role in the user experience. The true test of the iPhone 16 Pro's performance will come after the phone is released, allowing users to judge its capabilities based on everyday tasks and real-world scenarios. Currently, the iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max have rather modest charging capabilities compared to the competition. With a peak charging input of 27W when plugged in and a maximum of 15W through MagSafe wireless charging, Apple has stuck to slower charging speeds, even as other companies have pushed the envelope with faster solutions. This has led to some frustration among Apple users who expect faster charging, especially when many Android devices now offer charging speeds that surpass 100W. In the broader smartphone industry, companies are continually setting new benchmarks with charging technologies. Several Android manufacturers have introduced devices capable of charging at speeds well above 100W, allowing phones to charge from 0% to full in under half an hour. This innovation has set a new standard, putting pressure on Apple to catch up. While Apple focuses on other areas like performance, build quality, and ecosystem integration, they've seemingly lagged behind in terms of charging speeds, leading many to question why they haven't prioritized this feature. Apple has always taken a cautious approach to battery technology, likely focusing on long-term battery health and longevity. While this strategy has its benefits, 
The downside is that Apple's devices charge significantly slower compared to other flagship phones. The iPhone 15 Pro's 27W charging feels outdated when compared to competitors offering solutions that deliver over 100W, allowing for faster and more efficient charging experiences. As Apple prepares to launch the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max, the hope is that they will finally address this disparity. Rumors suggest that faster charging rates may be on the way, which could bring Apple back into the conversation when it comes to cutting-edge battery technology. If Apple can match or even come close to the industry's top charging speeds, it would not only meet user expectations but also help Apple stay competitive in an area where they've been lacking. However, until we see concrete evidence, Apple users will continue to wait for the day when faster charging becomes a standard feature on iPhones. There's exciting news on the horizon regarding Apple's charging speeds. Rumor has it that the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max will come with significant upgrades in this department. After years of sticking with conservative charging capabilities, Apple is reportedly aiming for 40W wired charging and 20W wireless charging with the upcoming iPhone models. This marks a major shift from the current 27W wired and 15W MagSafe wireless charging on the iPhone 15 Pro series. While these figures, 40W wired and 20W wireless, are exciting, it's important to note that they represent peak charging rates. This means that, at times, especially when plugging the iPhone 16 Pro or 16 Pro Max in from 0%, the devices may hit these impressive numbers. However, like most phones, Apple's charging system will likely taper off as the battery fills to ensure long-term battery health. So, while users may see 40W or 20W for short bursts, sustained charging speeds will likely be lower as the battery nears full capacity. The increase in wireless charging speed to 20W would be a noteworthy improvement for Apple's ecosystem, especially for those who rely on MagSafe or other wireless charging solutions. This would reduce the time users need to keep their phones on wireless chargers, offering more convenience for busy users who need quick top-ups throughout the day. While wireless charging is still not as fast as wired charging, this bump would bring Apple closer to meeting the demands of modern smartphone users. These rumored charging upgrades represent Apple's response to the broader industry trend of pushing faster and more efficient charging solutions. With Android competitors boasting 100W plus charging speeds, Apple seems to be finally addressing the gap in this key area. If these rumors pan out, the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max would offer a much-needed enhancement, bringing faster, more competitive charging times to Apple users while still likely maintaining the company's focus on battery health and longevity. For everyday users, these faster charging rates could make a huge difference in how they use their iPhones. The ability to hit 40W wired charging at peak times means significantly reduced charging time, allowing for quick charges before leaving the house or during busy workdays. Similarly, the 20W wireless charging could make MagSafe accessories even more useful, letting users get a substantial charge in a shorter amount of time without needing to plug in a cable. These enhancements could mark a new era of convenience for iPhone users. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech content. See you next time on MA Tech.